Welcome back to the show. I'm so pleased to have Lori Marino, uh, Executive Director, Camilla Center, and she has co-authored a new paper, a scientific paper called The Psychology of Cows, and you don't hear that every day. Hi, Lori. Hi, Peter. Okay. How are you? Oh, great, and, and I'm so pleased to be speaking with you about this paper. It's First of all, it's pretty lengthy and detailed, and it is a peer-reviewed paper, right? Yes, that's and, right. Uh, your co-author is who on, on this? Uh, my co-author is Kristen Allen. Yeah. And she is a doctoral student uh, at uh, Florida State, and uh, it was a pleasure working with her on this. So why did you do this? How did this start? <gasps> You know, this is another paper in a, in a series um, for the Someone Project that is a joint project between Camilla and Farm Sanctuary. And the whole point of this project is to uh, educate the public and the scientific community about who farmed animals are. And we've done a number of papers, uh, one on pigs, one on chickens, and this is the third in our series, and this is on cows. And um, we have a white paper on the Farm Sanctuary website where people can take, you know, can look at all of that scientific information that we amassed in our peer review paper and see it in a more digestible format. Um, but all of it is based upon all of the science that we that tells us who cows are. Now, most of what we know about cows or what the general public knows about cows comes from industry, doesn't it? Yes, that's right. Uh, most people see cows um, in in the light of them being commodities, you know, uh, things, things that are manufactured, in a sense, um, that you eat. And uh, obviously they're not. They're living, sentient, intelligent beings, and they are a who, not a what. Um, and uh, we wanted to bring to light uh, some of the evidence for that. Uh, of course, it's obvious that they are, but, but uh, what we did is we decided to, to use the scientific data um, to, to bring it that all together so that the objective uh, view of cows and the scientific view of cows was brought to the forefront. So in this research, you did not conduct any experiments. You reviewed all the available literature. <laughs> That's right. We didn't conduct any experiments ourselves. This was a review paper. We brought together the best of all of the peer-reviewed literature on cows, and we organized it and uh, provided, uh, a, you know, almost like um, a biography of, of who cows are, what do we know about their emotions and their psychology, their social complexity, and, and some of the ways that they're very intelligent that most people don't talk about. And I think the, the main point that we wanted to make with this, which I think we made through the science, is that, you know, cows are not just plodding, slow creatures who just eat grass. Uh, they are intelligent, complex, caring uh, beings with individual personalities. You know, it's heartbreaking when you see the truckload of cows going on the highway, you know where they're going. And then exactly. you know, once in a while you hear a story of one of them escaping and it becomes yes, you know, a yes. real story. And uh, can we yeah. read into when this happens, is it just a fearful cow escaping? What, what do you think is going through the mind or emotions of, of that individual? Well, you know, that's a good question. It's so hard to really tell. But obviously, this is an individual who knows that this is not a good situation. They have to get away from it. And I think they really are running for their life. I, I don't think it is a stretch to say that they realize that um, wherever they are, they're not going to a good place, and, and they're trying to run to some semblance of safety. They, so, I mean, when I talk about it, I do talk about it as running for their life, because when they are you know, put in sanctuaries and are safe and happy, you know, they their whole demeanor changes and, and they realize they're in a good place. Uh, so, so these animals know 
uh, what's happening when they're on that truck going to the slaughterhouse. They may not know the specifics of it, but uh, you can bet that they know that uh, this is this is not a good situation to be in, and they're very unhappy and very stressed. Paint a little picture for listeners who haven't had the chance to spend any time with cows. Let's say one visits a sanctuary and sees them in that happy sort of state. What are they doing? What they're doing is uh, all kinds of things. So if you go up to Farm Sanctuary and visit the cows that are rescued there, you'll see various things. You'll see cows, of course, eating grass and browsing. You'll see cows lying down and relaxing. You'll see them interacting with each other. They actually do have friends and uh, bonds. You'll see them with their children, which is something you never get to see uh, if they if they do have a, a calf um, you see them exercising their autonomy their their choice as to how to spend uh, their their day and it is so relaxed uh, you know their eyes show that they're very relaxed there's no giant wide-eyed you know expression of fear with tears coming down it's a very relaxed expression all their body posture tells you that they they know that they're fine it's 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 you know it's it's quite obvious um and you know it's a really beautiful thing to see yeah uh the paper states a few times that more research is needed what sort of uh research can be conducted ethically on on cows that we could gain more insight I think that, you know, cows are so interesting, as are many other farmed animals, that, you know, people have all kinds of questions about them. And as long as it's done non-invasively and it's done in a context that, you know, keeps the animals protected and gives them some choice in the matter, then then I think uh, that's great. This is not to say that we shouldn't, we should stop all research on them, but that research has to be done respectfully. And I think the best kind of place to do research like that is in a sanctuary setting where the animals are relaxed and uh, where they're in a more naturalistic setting. Well, thanks, Lori. Reading this paper makes me want to go back and spend more time at a sanctuary, and I hope everyone has a chance to do that. It's really, uh, my, it's really life-changing, isn't it? it? It really is. Everyone has to go to a sanctuary and just find out who these beings are for themselves and if they find out who they are, they're going to have a different view of, of them. So it's, it is life-changing, indeed. So the paper is psycho- The Psychology of Cows. It the Psychology is of Cows. In Animal Behavior and Cognition. That's and, right. And you are and, Lori Marino. Thank, yes. Thanks for coming on. Thank you so much.